Certainly did go well. How about some prelims? Heat one of the boys, 100 trying to get the finals. Jameer Coleman has no trouble. A PR wins in 10.86 ticks. He's seated first tomorrow morning. Heat two, his teammate, uh, the long jump champ, Michael Rogers, gets third in the heat. He'll be seated sixth in tomorrow's final. Some big points on the line for the Birds. Boys four by one, bluffed and qualified in heat one. It's Patrick Henry and Crestview in heat two. Girls 200, that's Tori Abdul winning in 25.8. One of four finals she'll be in. Eight is Brittany Archer, third for Saturday. There's the boys. Nice finish there. Crestview goes 44.02 in the 4 by one Tenora will be seated second. How about heat two of the 200? Marion Locals, Allie Toby. She's on to the finals. The Rams, Chelsea Seifert also. Boys four by four. Noah Stratton and the Bluffton Pirates win. Heat two and three, 21.46. They're seated first. Minster and Allen East also qualifies. We look at the team results for Division Three after a day. Lots of points out there. Marion local ladies, thanks to Gina Kramer and company, finishing second. Minster, or not finished, they're in second. Minster's in fifth. Arlington in seventh. How about LCC on the boys' side? They have 18 points already. They have two guys, Coleman and Rogers, in both the 100 and 200, and they have the best time coming in the 4 by 2 Could be a recipe for a state title.